Hello everyone, and today I am going to be sharing my presentation about earthworms. What are earthquakes? Earthquakes are something that helps the earth get all the stress out. There, are, there has almost been more than a million of earthquakes around the world, but mostly in the Midwest and along the East Coast. What causes an earthquake? There are 20 plates all around the surface that move forever, and when they squeeze or stretch, that's when it forms an earthquake. For example, imagine you, you're holding a pencil and you want to break it, and if you wanted to do that, you would have to bend it. And while you, you do, you can see that it bends and breaks. So, so when so when you were bending it, it was it was putting force on, and stress on the pencil, and that's why it broke and releasing the stress from the, the from the pencil. Um, this is um, after an earthquake. This is a photo of of the results after an earthquake. Do you know what that was? No. no I never said. And then this is where I found it. Okay. Thank you for watching my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's talk about that first little, uh, bring it closer to home. Earthquakes in this area, where, where, do, uh, where has earthquakes occurred in California? Um, uh, it happened in California? Uh, San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. Boy, that's boy, why yeah. in San Francisco the houses are close to each other because that's, a, that's an oh. uh, earthquake prone area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there was a big earthquake. Brother, do you know what year? So what you have to look that up. I huh? think 85. I think it was before that. So what are you going That the, the Bay Bridge... Um, Excuse me. Fact check that. Can you fact check before you say 85? Um, so the Bay Bridge <coughs> actually collapsed. collapsed. How does it help when they put their houses together? So when the... the good question. Well, how do you think? Why do you think they put their houses together? When they put their houses together, then uh, they can they can hold each other, so none of the houses can like. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, in San Francisco, it's it, they have yeah a lot of a lot of uh, hills and uh, yeah, yeah and so that. it's scary no wonder, if, if earthquake uh, happens. No wonder there's the like latest, the, the, the latest one was in the somewhere in the Bay Area. That was how many years? Even the damage was there, but we can feel it from here. Oh yeah, like I it just told like them just yesterday. Four o'clock in the morning. Two I days woke up and the old lady woke up too. With the, you know when we feel the earthquake, and when the news at six, we saw the cracks. You know the road yeah. cracks and. Uh, just two days ago, there was an earthquake close to LA. LA. Oh, oh. felt it yeah. in Sacramento. Oh. Five point visa. 5.8, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so earthquakes are happening closer to us than we think, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to tell you, say that, like, just even like uh, tornadoes, like in Fiji, with this last uh, storm they had, they actually had like a tornado, a tornado. Like, a tornado, like, because the, what causes a tornado? Um, the cold air. Cold. The thunderstorms, yeah. the thunderstorms. So when the cyclone came, yeah. there was thunderstorms a lot. So they had, they had hurricanes, but this one was different. It was more than that. It just came just like a tornado, you know, tornado coming up and throwing um, stuff. There was this one time uh, we were in the car, and then there was this thing saying, this is not a drill. Um, there's a tornado heading for El Dorado Hills. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you again, Eli. Let's give a hand to Eli. Thank you. Okay. Take it up and Lauren will come